What's up guys, it's Coach Shelby here and I wanted to give you uh, one of my favorite ankle mobilization techniques. And without a doubt, the ankles and the ability to move through the ankles and function through the ankles is one of the biggest issues for basketball players and it affects everything from your ability to um, get low in your jump shot, the ability to get low on defense, then you start talking about the ability to actually move in terms of the ankle position. If you read my emails or if you read some of the articles I've written in the past, I talk a lot about the ankle position with regards to explosiveness and quickness. And if you've read those or understand those, you know that the ability to dorsiflex or keep that toe tucked up matters a lot, one, in terms of stability of the ankle joint, and two, the ability to actually load the most powerful position uh, which allows you to be quicker, stronger, more explosive on the basketball court. So the technique I'm going to show you right now is what's called a mandatory dis distracted ankle mobility technique or exercise. And I'm going to take the band and I'm going to hook the band right around the ankle. So right about at the crease of the ankle joint, right at the front of that ankle. Obviously make sure you have it tethered or anchored to something that's stable so you won't rip it off the wall. I'm going to walk myself out and I'm going to put a little bit of pressure so that that band is really pulling back on my lower leg. What that's going to do is that's going to actually pull um, the lower leg, the bones of the lower leg or bone of the lower leg, tibia back and posterior, which is going to allow the ankle joint to actually function. So that movement allows what's, what's known as the talus bone to actually slide which then allows the ankle to essentially move. So think about it like a positional thing. So that pressure from the band is really important. I'm going to walk myself out. I'm going to make sure I anchor, my, anchor, anchor myself nice and flat. I'm going to keep my heel on the ground, and then I'm going to move my knee and my leg in three different planes of motion. Okay, so if I'm facing you guys, I'm going to move it toward the big toe, forward and back. I'm going to move it toward the second toe, pretty much straight forward forward and back, and then I'm going to move it slightly to the outside, forward and back. I recommend doing about 10 of each of these. Now, the key is to make sure you keep that heel on the ground, so when you're pulsing forward, obviously you need to make sure that that band is putting the right amount of pressure and that you're moving in the plane of motion you want, but keep the heel on the ground so that you're actually moving through the ankle joint and not simply moving through the knee and the hip letting that heel come off. Great technique to use prior to squatting, prior to playing, prior to quickness and plyometric drills, especially if you've had injured ankles in the past or if you know that you have restrictions in terms of mobility.